here we are again. Um, I mean, it's been so much fun to watch this program grow, you know, through all the ups and the downs. But I got to imagine going in the Lucky 13 that, that this is an exciting group with the guys that you know you have coming back with also some, some unknowns as well. Yeah, you know, I've talked all along about really since January about the chemistry of a football team and about the leadership. And now that leadership has to take hold and that chemistry has to take hold as we go into, you know, the first game. And uh, but it's exciting. Our guys are ready to play. You know, we're three days out and, uh, you know, we've practiced a long, we've, you know, a lot goes into this. So you get yourself ready and you hope, you know, there's going to be great things happening. But, you know, no plan goes without being tested. and. No plan goes, goes exactly the way you plan it, so you've got to be able to adjust. So many parallels to you know, how you guys exited one season, went into another season, whether that be up and down. What makes this group unique? Well, I think as much as anything, they've been through it. You know, they've had success. Uh, they've also had some things where things didn't go their way. They've had injuries in the past. They've lost some close games. We've won some close games. Um, so there's a lot of different things that, that enter into this, but it's, it's sort of life experience or football experience uh, that they've sort of, sort of seen it all. And, you know, we've got a good group of seniors, very strong group of seniors that are very good players. Uh, we've got five guys probably that forego, that did forego the NFL draft to come back and play. And that's exciting because, you know, five, all five of those guys are on defense and, uh, you know, they're very good players. I thought one of the, the, the most interesting things you said last week during the media scrum was every class except for one has a ring on their finger. The continuity, the championships you've had here, I mean, this class, you know, knowing Brian, knowing those seniors that you guys have back there, this just feels from the outside like one of those years that could be special. Do you feel that, or do you feel that with every team? Well, I think every year we can win every game. I mean, that's the makeup of what we do. But, um, you know, when I sat down and I started thinking about that statement that I made, you know, it, it's true. Our guys have won championships here, the 16 class, is, is got an opportunity to close it out with themselves so that's a goal for them and that's always a goal here is to because the expectations are high you know that we've created those expectations so seven and six is a little disappointing because our expectations are to be a double digit winner uh, and be in November competing for a championship so um, that's the end game for us but uh, this group is special they're a very likable group of people that they, they they mesh well together I can honestly say that that this group builds into each other as much as any group that we've had. Not to say that others didn't, because to be successful, you have to have that. But these guys really build into each other, and I think there's power in that. All right, the worst kept secret in the country is your defense. It's so good. It has a lot of returning pieces. Obviously, they have to go out and prove it once again. Yeah. Is that your message to that group, or are you challenging them to be better than they were even last year? No, my message is, is just, hey, you got to play. You know, you can talk about your defense and everything about, because you're always making, you know, at the end of the season, you define who you are. And then you sort of start over again. Mm -hmm. And so um, what we do on Friday night will be the first step in that process. But I think we do have good players. I think we do have uh, guys that can, you know, hold the point and make plays. And it's exciting to watch, you know, Josiah Scott or Bocce or all these different guys who really bring eight guys back. But, the three guys that are in there as starters right now have played um, a lot of football for us and, and really been co-starters for us. So, uh, you know, that's exciting as well. So it'll, it'll be interesting to watch them. And we've got to play firm and square. We've got to tackle well. We've got to be gap sound and can't blow coverages. And, um, but things are going to happen too. And they have to understand that so they can't get rattled when, um, you know, when a Utah State, for example, last year got a couple first downs on us. And, you know, they don't have a play over. 20 yards the whole game, but they move the football on us. You know, you've got to be patient too, and you've got to allow them to make mistakes. Now to the best kept secret in the country. I know you're not going to talk schematics and whatnot, but how excited are you to see this offense kind of release and show itself? Yeah, you know, I, I am. We need to have production, but I guess like anything, especially on the offensive side of the ball, you know, football is execution. And, you know, you got to execute. you got to catch the ball, throw the ball, block the guy in front of you, block the guy beside you, hang on to the football, and do the little things that allow you to be successful. Uh, you got to run through tackles, those type of things. So, so much of it, we're not going to sit there, like I said before, we're not, we don't have a little pixie dust that we're going to spread on things. You know, it's hard work, it's, it's, uh, it's effort, it's toughness, and uh, I think therein lies the, the secrets. If you can execute, 
you know, good things happen. Last one I have for you. I'm getting married on Saturday, day after yeah. your game. Oh, yeah. Give me the number one marriage advice from Mark D'Antonio. Oh, the number one marriage advice. You didn't expect this one coming in here. No, I didn't. <laughs> that might be a, probably a best kept secret as well. But, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I would say, uh, I would say uh, stand firm. It's all going to be good. So congratulations. Thanks, bud. All right. Appreciate Thanks. it.